Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town, and I cannot be more excited to be back with part two of this large coin buy. This is going to be all the world silver stuff, and I was able to unbox some of it in an earlier video, which I'm sure you can access in the description. Uh, we took a brief run through some of these really, really cool, more crown-sized silver items uh, that I'm going to be paying up for, but now it's time to dive into this bag, and super pumped again, like... There's always gonna be coins I haven't seen before, so I just wanna take a quick look at what's inside. We'll pour this thing out, and it's all separated out by uh, precious metal content, so let's, let's dive right in. And being the organized person that I normally am, but unorganized person that I currently am, we're just gonna go in random order, and we'll start with a 10%. I'm gonna try to be kind of fast, but these are Morelos Pesos, 10% silver made from 1957 to 1967. And looks like we've got two uncirculated ones. I have a really pretty toned one of these in my personal collection that I graded by PCGS. I thought it was really cool. And it's just so neat to see all these different with the world, like what all these different countries and civilizations wanted to display on their national currency. This one is the 90% silver, and I see some really interesting stuff, but here we've got a 1931 um, Panamanian item. We've got a 1956 Dominican Republic, 25 centavos, more Panama, and it looks like even some Cuba down there, but here's Dominican Republic, 56, 31 uh, Panama, some Panamanian stuff, 47 and 30, and then right here we've got in 1948, 20 centavos, 90% silver, obviously, because that's the category we're in, a 1947. This could be a pretty expensive coin. It's been in a jewelry mount, but it's still an 1882 Haitian gourd coin. That's going to be a pretty significant and expensive find. So I'm very happy with that and obviously going to be kicking a, a bit of extra cash back um, their way for it. So, you know, the, the, the fun thing is these are some really great items I get to deal with. Um, the other the thing that's not noted is that I generally have to pay a fair amount to get it, but you got to do what you got to do, and I get to, you know, ensure that I'm seeing some really cool coins um, by paying the most. So 1895 Hong Kong 10 cents. We've got a Japanese 20 sen and a six pence from South Africa. All great. We've got one or two coins that are 60% silver from Sweden, 1937 and 38, 25 ore items. After that, I'm gonna see these are not ones that I recognize. What on earth is this? 64% silver. Maybe, I know there's some Austrian stuff. That says Tausend Jahre, 1980. Okay, 500 shilling is definitely an Austrian coin. So, interesting. I wonder if these are like, content, you know, like restrike items, because they don't seem like they would have been issued for circulation. I've actually seen these commemorative, but also maybe 500 shillings is enough where the silver value was not worth, you know, 500 shillings at that point. So, very, very interesting. I could see the WhatNot fans, which again, gonna be doing a, a sale soon, and you wanna take a look in the description for it. Kind of going and, and being pretty interested in that sort of an item. Right here, we've got 75%, so could be some, yep, US Philippines. Makes a lot of sense, very par for the course. That's a nice looking one. 1918S, um, S Mint Mark, World War One item. 1920, but then a lot of it is the more modern stuff as well. Here's a 1916, very fun, 1916 S, it looks like. And then we've got a 1944 S, those are the more common ones, and a 1917 S. So some nice World War I era items. This I'm gonna save probably for the end because it's the sterling silver. That one's interesting, 70% appears to be a Romanian 500 lei coin from World War II, 1944. I've never seen that one before either. And Mihai, I've done some uh, some of the gold items from Romania in that time frame, but never, never the silver. Here we've got Swedish, gonna be 40% silver, a one kroner, 50 ore, and then so you got, you know, a buck or a krone 70, a, a krone and 70 ore from Sweden, all 40% silver. Here's the 50%, there can be some kind of wild countries in the mix uh, with the 50% and it looks like we'll get a range here. We've got some some British items which are always great to see. Probably not the most uncommon types but also just fun and, and good for making. Often I'll sell some of these in like 
world coin group lots here's a new zealand three pence always has that flavor of new zealand on the coins obviously and then here we've got a 1921 british half crown a bunch that's australian six pence 1957 they stay sterling for a much longer time in the back here we've got more british and then a peruvian soul from 1924 so actually not as crazy of a, a mixture of countries but peruvian being a foreign crown is always interesting here we've got and i'll take it out of the bag because it's not a coin i immediately recognized a 200 race coin a little bit of graffiti from ludovicus the first from portugal at algarb i'm not sure what the algarb is but a two 200 reyes race coin then back here also 64 percent looks like a little bit of a different um well i guess it'll still be australian dutch is the other one not australian austrian and then here's a mozambican but portuguese influenced five escudos from 1935 nice little earlier date which is good fun and then here we've got a bunch of 83.5% silver. I had this sort of as a teaser in the other video, so let's see how good it is. We're going to see some World War One two franc coins, 1915 and 1916. We've also got a nice Swiss 1946, 1916 franc. That one is interesting. A Belgian one franc from 1912. Sweet, 1967, five franc. Also a jewelry 19, 1895 Haitian 20, uh, 50 centimes. That could also be, you know, wish it wasn't, um, you know, in the jewelry, but it's a nice item. Some more 50 centimes there. We got a 30 drachma from Greece. 1965 francs, 1967 from Switzerland that time. So I think that that was a pretty good bag by all accounts. Let me put those away as well and then we're kind of heading into the home stretch here these appear to all be 72 percent silver you might guess it doesn't look like we have a little label on there but got the mexican olympics certainly is the 72 and 1963 two and a half golden mexican olympics here's a big five peso from hidalgo 1952 and then one of these 100 pesos from 1977 mexican coins are, are really really nice from kind of my view. And then to sort of round things out, we've got some Dutch, we've got, let me point some things out here. Here's the Netherlands, East Indies, 1941, quarter golden, and then a five centavos, 120th Quetzal with the guns, Guatemala coin. And then a few of these 10th goldens as well, uh, all from World War II, mostly minted at the San Francisco mint um, on, you know, by the half, by America on behalf of the Netherlands, as I had alluded to earlier. And then before we go and get into that, let's let's take a look at these uh, copper or, or just, you know, non-silver kind of base metal world items, see what we can come up with here. We've got first, that one looks like it's Nobilis C, Nob Kaiser. It's likely going to be a Feltemp Reparatio, um, and I can see that REP right there. Uh, I would say that that's either Constantius Chlorus or Constantius II, but it's going to be 337 to 361 uh, approximately. We've got a Jetton here from, it says Spielmarken, from Mit, um, some sort of a German token. A one penny coin from the Jenkins chapter in Jenkins, Kentucky. Have to look into that. My cousins are in Kentucky, so maybe they'll recognize it. Here's a 1720 Britannia. I believe that should be a farthing, but it's actually a pretty nice looking coin. Good, good eye appeal. Here we've got a 1720 Utrum Protego. I'm not sure if this is a real coin. Philip IV for Maravetes would be interested in people's opinions. I think I'll hold on to this for a little while. Can't tell if it's real or fake, basically. Here's a half penny token, John New Brunswick for public accommodation. I wonder if that's like a hard times half penny or, or a later date um, issue. This one I think is like a Russian Denga or half Denga from 1750. If you have identification, please let me know. And then a Ulysses S. Grant. Let's see if we have a date on this thing. Struck and distributed in the municipal parade 1879 by the employees of the U.S. Mint. 
fascinating. I could see that being a pretty popular item. I just have to figure out and do some more research on it and would welcome, obviously, any of your help with that. Let's get on to this final batch of 92.5% silver. I'm seeing a lot of Australia early on, which is no surprise. They were very good about keeping their metal content as high as possible. 1944, you know, S mint right there is San Francisco. Uh, just as a reminder, I always like to point that out. Maybe I've talked about it too much today. I'm seeing a lot of Australia. I'm going to sift through and see if there's anything that pops out. This one does. Nicely toned three pence. Very fun. And as does this shilling. Also has a little bit of sort of a rainbow appeal to it. Very fun. Here's a sharp, nice, well struck five cents from Canada. King Edward and Newfoundland, 1898, 50 cents from Queen Victoria. It was 1837 to. 1901. Here's going to be an even earlier shilling from 1855 of Victoria. And then as we go through, again, another Newfoundland find. Really, really fun. 1881, 20 cents. Here's an 1896, 10 cent, and a 1917 shilling. So, again, a bunch of great items. Really thrilled with this hunt. The overall results, I think, have been great. I mean, again, paying a good bit, but always you know you have to pay up to get good material so a lot of this i think there might be one or two coins that i save but will be being featured in many of those auctions that i mentioned and trying to get some of them on on more of a list as well sort of stemming right from the website but in any case i share everything i get in with you guys in the form of a video or maybe 90 percent of it and I'm always thrilled to do that. So if you enjoyed and you want similar content in the future, do not hesitate. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on some future videos. Thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to visit our website, treasuretown.com, to stay up to date on everything going on on the channel and possibly get some great deals on coins and collectibles. We look forward to seeing you on our future videos, and best wishes until then.